I'm Zoe and in this video today we're going to look at how we can use the bar model for solving comparison problems. This is a problem where we've generally got two things, we know the relationship between and a total altogether. Children often struggle with these to know where to start, which operation to use, so it's really useful to use the bar model so they can see it clearly. Here's our problem. Kieran has five more shells in his collection than his sister Hope. Altogether they have 23 shells. How many do they each have? Okay, so we're going to start with Hope. Hope has some shells. So we're going to label this bar with a question mark for the unknown, some shells. Kieran has five more. Now we know Kieran must then start with the same amount as Hope, but he has five more. So we can add on to this bar and we can label this with five shells. All together they have 23 shells. So we know that those must add up to 23 shells. Now the bar makes it really clear, these are the same, we have these five extra. We can now remove the five from the 23 to find out what's left. So 23 take away five equals 18. So we know these two bars here must make 18 shells. Hopefully pupils then realize that we can half it because these bars are the same. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. We now know each of these bars is 9 shells. Going back to our model, we can replace our unknown, our question mark, with 9. We now know Hope has 9 shells. We can read that off straight away. Kieran, we have to do a little bit of work. Kieran has 9 plus 5 shells. So altogether, Kieran has 14 shells. And that's how we use our bar model to solve comparison problems.